So when, when we begin to understand that there's more dimensions of the word than just the Bible, just that which is written, then we begin to understand that we have never really had the full measure of the truth. When, when the Bible tells us, or when the word God talks and says that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is the word, then I have to see to, to the fact that there is two other dimensions of the word that I've never in, engaged. He is that which is written, that's the Bible. That's what we have in hand, that's all we've engaged but also that which has been spoken and that which is alive. Now that which has been spoken is the dimensions of that which the Father has illuminated to you. It is the dimensions of the living letters. It is the dimension of what has come out of him, what has been spoken over the years by the prophets, the things that have not been written down, the things that have been spoken in, in privacy within the kingdom of heaven. All that is, a, is in the atmosphere. We get to go into it to get that understanding and to grasp on that revelation that they've released. That's why the kings search out the mysteries. In the same breath, we have to engage the living. We have to begin to understand the value of going in up into the kingdom of heaven and to sit with Yeshua, to engage with him, to worship him, to magnify him, to get him to, to, to overshadow us so that we can begin to understand all of who he is. We have to begin to understand that there's more than just that which is written. It's just a love letter. It's not the whole entirety of my father. It's only a portion. And when I include the other two dimensions of the word, that which is written, that which is alive, that which is spoken, then I get the full truth and I get set free.